Hi guys, thinking about pop pop boots again. It would be nice to make one that sounds loud. That's what people seem to want. I like the ones that are silent, but feedback on my videos, people want them to make a noise. So I'm thinking about it. What we've got there is the bottom of a can. I saw a video where somebody cut little petals all the way around and folded it over to make the um, seal and then sealed it with two-part epoxy because soldering aluminium is not easy. It's technically possible but I don't think it's the sort of thing I'm going to get into for trying to do my aluminium boilers. The other thing that occurred to me is I've got this jam jar with its safety button as they call it. Normally held in place by a slight vacuum inside and then as soon as the seal is broken that pops up. I just don't know whether that would work at all for a pop pop because its default position is up uh, which is the wrong way around you want it down and then pushed up by the steam that's just vaguely possible that the when when the steam condenses and we get the partial vacuum it might pop back in again so it might be worth making a boiler just to see if it works so that's what I'm thinking I might do um, if I sand that down so we've got down to the metal surface and then put a flat piece of uh, tin plate underneath it and see if that works. So I might try that as a boiler and then I might try this idea of cutting little petals all, all the way around, folding it over and seeing if we can make a small boiler from that. And see if that'll pop at all. I was thinking, possibly, of drawing circles around there with a ball pen to actually um, pre-flex the metal, like that, and see if that might increase the volume. So that's another option. I don't know which one to do first. I think I might have a try with this one first, see if we can make a little a little boiler and just try it out. I've just salvaged a couple of pipes out of one of my older pop pop boilers. So this is aluminium pipe or tubing. About the same. So this is the bit we're going to use. And we want another piece. Yeah, about the same size. It's that inner bit that we're talking about, not the outside edge. mentioned in one of my recent pop pop videos I looked up the price of brass shim stock which is brass this sort of thickness and it's out of my price range I'm afraid so we won't be using brass shim stock well oh, that's it Let's draw those circles I was on about to see if I can pre-stress the aluminium.
to encourage it to flex a bit. Like uh, that. This is to help the glue stick. drill the holes in it first before I go any further. need it to be tilted up at quite an angle so that there's room for the water to boil and the steam to form. So, it's be something like that. So this is what I call petals, lots of little cuts. If I can find the video I watched where somebody did this, I'll put a link in the video description. What I'm worried about is putting the glue round here is going to reduce the flexibility of that there. While the glue is curing or drying, whichever word you prefer, I cut up this bottle to use as the test uh, hull boat. Yeah, it might be big enough. I doubt that I've really waited long enough for the glue to cure properly. But I will just go and test it to see if it's airtight. Oh, good job I tested it. We've got a little leak around the back here, so I'll mix up a little bit more glue and cover that. Before I do that, I'll just line this up so we've got some idea where we want to put the holes through. Okay, well we'll go and make a cup of tea while we wait for it to warm up. We've got some bubbles.
Well, it's working very well, but it's not popping. <laughs> I think that area is too small because with the glue around the edge we've completely reduced the amount of flexibility of that bit of aluminium. So we're plenty fast enough, plenty of power. But no pop. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Is making the tiniest little tick tick noise. But not pop pop. I suppose I ought to talk over it, just so you know, I'm not speeding this up at all. This is a proper little flyer, this one. But still not a popper. I don't know if I said, I found the video. Forrest Trenman was the guy who did the video, so I'll put it in the video description so you can have a look at his version. He did it a little bit different to this, but the same gen general idea, cutting up those little petals and folding them over and then filling it with glue. In fact, he put glue on first before he folded the little tabs over. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.